Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, but if it's your first time here, my name is Helen and I'm gonna take you through a chest stretch and flow today. So this is one of the classes that is available on my membership site at My Mindful Movement. And I wanted to gift you this class just so you can have a little peek behind the curtain of what's available over on the on-demand service. We have now over 160 uh, extra classes to what's on this channel and we also do a weekly and a monthly live zoom session as well so make sure you check that out in the first link below and it would be lovely to welcome you over there okay let's get into this chest class Hi members, welcome to this chest focus class. It's gonna be a little bit flowy and a little bit stretchy and you are going to need a couple of blocks for today's class. It's just for um, a puppy pose and then a supported fish pose towards the end. You could sub this out for books or even a bolster if you have one to hand, but just pop them to one side, we shall get to those. And come find a nice comfy seated position. So maybe that is a kneeling position today, maybe you're more comfortable in a cross-legged position. Either way, just take a moment to relax your hands into your lap, close your eyes, take a nice big breath in, sit nice and tall, and a big sigh. <sighs> and just notice how you feel in the front of the heart space today. Notice how that feels out towards the front of the shoulders, across the collarbones, and even down towards the belly. Before we get into any physical movement, we're just gonna start by using the breath to stretch out. So inhale, send the breath down to your belly and then up into the chest, out to the sides and into your back body. And as you exhale, gently release through the mouth. Continue like that, so inhale down all the way up and out, feel your whole torso expand. And as you exhale, gently release, allowing shoulders to relax, jaw to relax. So with every in-breath, really visualize both lungs filling up from bottom to top and expanding not just themselves, but also the space around them. Wonderful. Good. Take one more in your own time. Beautiful, blinking the eyes open. We're just gonna start by stretching out the hands and then towards the arms a little bit. So you can take one arm out in front, grab a hold of your fingers and then draw them back towards you. Keep the arms straight if you can. Breathing into the front of the wrist, forearm. Wonderful, and then opposite side, drawing back. Just go as far as feels like a decent stretch. You don't want it to be painful. So we're gonna work on the chest area, but also around the chest area as well. Perfect, and gently release, shake out those wrists. Let's take a nice big breath in, reach the hands high. And then as you exhale, cactus out the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift your heart. Lovely, imagine someone's gently just pulling your elbows back a little further. We're gonna take a little flow here. So take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, the backs of the hands are gonna come together, chin to chest as if you're diving into a pool. 
Lovely inhale, reverse, open up. Exhale. Lovely inhale, open up. Exhale. One more inhale, open all the way up. Lift your heart just a hair higher and then turn your hands back, interlace your fingers. Squeeze your palms together and open across your chest. So really squeeze in between the shoulder blades. Slightly drawing the knuckles down and then slightly away. So you feel the stretch a little bit into your biceps now. Lovely, deep breath in. And as you exhale, gently release. Perfect, take a little roll of your shoulders. Great, we're gonna take a little shoulder opener and twist here. So one hand is gonna come behind. You're gonna grab for your bicep quite tightly. Your other hand is gonna turn up. Take a breath to sit tall. And then as you exhale, twist across your body. So some of us will use our inner thigh. We'll twist like this, or you might be able to grab your outer thigh. Keep this grip on your bicep quite strong. And it's gonna help open up the front of the shoulder and a little bit in towards your pec muscle as well. Some of us might also be able to look all the way behind. Lovely, deep breath in. Exhale, unravel, release, and opposite side. So hand comes behind, nice tight grip. Turn the palm up, and then you're gonna take it across. Go as far as you can, maybe here, maybe all the way around. Deep breath, and twist. You're gonna be feeling it in the front of this shoulder, predominantly. Use a nice big deep breaths. It will help open out that space. Lovely deep breath in. And as you exhale, unravel, release, take a couple of rolls through your shoulders. Perfect, and then I want you to find an all fours position, but let's take it wider than we usually would. So take your hands as wide as your mat, maybe your knees as wide as your mat. If it's not comfortable though, feel free to um, bring it in a little closer. Softness through your elbows. Inhale, drop your belly, look up. Imagine you're dragging your wrists back towards your knees. And then as you exhale round, you might find you get a little more space in the chest with this wider stance tabletop. Lovely. Take that in your own time. Inhale, drop in the belly, exaggerating the movement as much as you can. Lovely. Good. Inhale to a neutral place. Bring your knees in underneath your hips. This is where we're gonna use our blocks or a bolster or your books. Pop your hands onto your blocks. We're gonna keep our hips over our knees and then sinking the chest down towards the floor into a puppy pose. Some of us, our chin will rest on the floor. Some of us, the forehead might rest onto the floor. Now, no forcing here. See if you can allow the release with each exhalation. Relax your fingers. Notice if you're kind of holding on to your props for dear life. And lovely deep breath in. Big sigh. And then slowly, slowly lifting yourself back up. You can move those blocks out of the way. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, push your hips forwards, push the floor away. Let your head drop down, just take a couple of breaths there. Very nice, good. Then coming to a neutral place, spread the fingers wide, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Take a little pedal through the feet and allow your head to be really heavy in your down dog. 
You feel that nice release through the neck. Wonderful. From here, let's begin to walk the feet towards the hands. Take your feet about hip width and then bend the knees, grab opposite elbows and just take a little sway from side to side. Allow your upper back to release. Beautiful. Bending into the knees, bringing your fingertips down to the mat. Some of us might want a block to pop our hand onto. Your left hand is going to come down. Bend into your left knee as you reach your right hand up towards the sky. Some of us will stay here. Maybe the hand might come onto our sacrum or you can reach around, grab for your inner thigh and then rotate. Breathe into the front of that shoulder. and switch it over, exhale, right hand down, maybe to the block or to the floor, right knee bends as your left arm reaches up, maybe pops onto your sacrum, maybe comes all the way around, twist to open across the chest. Lovely deep breath. Exhale, release both hands down, bend the knees and slowly roll up through the spine, one little vertebrae at a time. When you get to the top, take a nice big reach of the arms up overhead and as you exhale, hands down by our sides. Lovely, bring your feet a little closer together, fan out through your toes. As you inhale, sweep your arms up, bring your right knee up. As you exhale, we're gonna fly it back into warrior three. Keep your chest nice and lifted and open. So this means you need to switch on the upper back. Keep reaching back through the fingertips. Good, take a deep breath. As you exhale, bend into that knee, drop the back toes. Lovely, inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, cactus them back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale. Good, one more inhale. Exhale. Good, now bringing your hands down to frame that front foot. Soft bend in the back knee as you step the back foot forwards. Inhale, half lift. And as you exhale, fold, relax your neck. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands by our sides. Shifting the weight into your right foot this time. Inhale, arms up, left knee up. Establish yourself on your right foot. Take a deep breath. And then as you exhale, slowly fly the arms back and the leg back. Activating the upper back. Spread your wings. Imagine like your fingers reaching in opposite directions. Feel that expansion through the front side of the body and then slowly bending into your standing leg. Drop those back toes behind silently. Big breath in, reach up. Exhale, cactus back. Exaggerating this as much or as little as you wish. Wonderful. On your next exhalation, bringing the hands down. Step the back foot forwards. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we rise. Reach all the way up to the sky. This time as you exhale, swan dive forward. Spread your wings. Lead with your chest as you fold. Beautiful, inhale, half lift, lengthen out of the waist. Exhale, plant the hand, step it to high plank and breathe in. As you exhale, drop the knees, untuck the toes, slowly lower down. Inhale, lifting the chest, so maybe some of us keep our elbows bent. Maybe some of us begin to experiment lifting a little higher. Just be wary of your lower back here. Wonderful, and then take a little bit of free movement. So maybe that's a little side to side action. You might be quite low and just see what that might feel like or experiment coming up and down.
Lovely, good. And then slowly coming all the way down, bring your big toes together and push it back to a child's pose. So forehead to mat, sit bones to heels, keep reaching your fingertips forward so it's quite an active child's pose. Breathing into the side body. Lovely, as you inhale, let's come forwards to all fours, tuck toes and then find downward facing dog. Good, from here bend the knees, look forwards. Exhale, step or maybe jump to the top. Inhale, half lift, activate the upper back. And as you exhale, fold. Inhale, we rise. Exhale, hands down by our sides. Lovely. From here, we're going to step the right foot back about the length of one of your legs and turn the toes out. So we want our hips pointing forwards. So we don't want our heels in line because it's going to mean our hips are off on a bit of a wonk. So you want your feet almost like they're on train tracks. Perfect. And then taking your hands behind, you can either grab opposite elbows. This is option one. Option two is to go for reverse prayer, really opening up through the chest and the shoulders. Okay, take a nice big breath in. And then as you exhale, fold. Don't forget about that secret prayer behind your back. So squeezing the shoulder blades together. And just melting down into that hamstring. Wonderful softness into that front knee. And then slowly come all the way up. Release your prayer or your elbows. Step the back foot forwards. Take a little roll of those shoulders. Perfect, opposite side. So the left foot steps back, either grabbing opposite elbows the non-habitual way or trying that reverse prayer. Breathe in, exhale, folding forward. So your right hip is drawing back and your left hip is drawing forwards. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, keep your heart open. Good, and then softness into that front knee. Slowly, slowly come up. Release your arms, step the back foot forward, take a little roll out. Perfect, good. From here, let's take the feet a bit wider, turn the toes out. Take a nice big breath in, reach up. And then as you exhale, bending into the knees, coming down into a deep squat. Perfect. From here, we're going to walk our hands forwards and then let the head drop down. So we're feeling that nice rounding in the back. Just to counterpose those stretches, those chest stretches. And let your head hang heavy. Send in the breath into the back of the shoulders. Wonderful. And then walking your hands back. From here, we're going to take the hands behind, sit the bottom down. We're going to do this in two ways. So option one, we're going to start with the fingers pointing the same way as the toes. Inhale, lifting up into a reverse tabletop. Option to hold it where it is. You can drop the head back if you like, or take a little rock forwards and back. So getting into the front of the shoulder a little bit. You might take a little side to side action up and down, just have a little bit of an explore. Wonderful, and then coming down, we're gonna switch our hand position, so turning the fingers back. And then when you're ready, lift on up. And then same thing, you can might find you can get a little further forwards, side to side, have a little bit of a play. Beautiful, one more breath. And then slowly, slowly coming down. Perfect, bring your feet flat onto the floor, reach your hands forwards, breathe in. And then as you exhale, slowly, slowly come all the way down. When you get to the bottom, you're gonna bring your hands underneath your bottom, palms facing down. Lengthen out the legs and point your toes. This is your fishtail. Wonderful, as you inhale, push up onto your forearms and then nudge your elbows back underneath you one at a time. Active fish pose, so lift the chest, lift the heart to the sky and then let the head drop back. 
The crown of the head might touch the floor. Open out through your throat. Imagine someone had their hands on either side of your rib cage and they're lifting you up towards the sky. Keep breathing. Wonderful, good. Slowly bring your chin to your chest. Take your time. Release your forearms. Release your hands. Come all the way down. Hug the knees into your heart. Give yourself a little squeeze, a little rock. Lovely. So the next pose is what we're going to finish in and we're going to end the practice there. And you can hold it for as long as you want, like five to ten minutes if it feels good. Okay, so gently rocking up and down a few times. Coming all the way up, we're going to use both blocks or both books, or you could use a bolster long ways. You want one block on a higher setting, like so, and then this block on a lower setting. This one's for your head. And if this is too uncomfortable, grab a pillow, grab a blanket just to cover it over. It takes a little bit of figuring out. So when you come back, you're aiming this bottom block to be at the bottom of your shoulder blades, kind of like the tip of your shoulder blades, right at the back of your heart. So you might need to kind of wriggle around to find it. And then as you lie back, your head is gonna find the other block. You can have it on a higher setting if you want. You can have it on a lower setting and have a pillow. And then whatever you want with the legs, I quite like to have my feet flat, but you can do whatever you like. And then just have a little moment to explore with the arms. So maybe it's overhead. You might find out to the side with the palms up. A little more satisfying. So take a little bit of time here to arrange yourself. So you want to feel nice and supported by the props underneath you. Palms are facing up just to keep the chest nice and open. And as you inhale, feel a little lift of your heart up towards the sky. And as you exhale, surrender your body weight into the floor, into the props. Allowing your body just to soften and relax over the props. Allowing yourself to rest here for a few minutes and then gently come out. When you come out, make sure you use your hands to support your head and do so nice and slowly. Thank you so, so much for joining me for this practice today. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next class very soon.